that Joel Embiid is set to miss some more games because of his left knee lateral meniscus tear. He's already missed 12 games so far, uh, which brings him very close to that 65 game rule, um, 65 game rule mark, which basically means for those of you guys that aren't like in tune with the league and what the, all that's going on is um, if a player doesn't play at least 65 games or more, they are not eligible for any award. So MVPs, all NBAs, all that. So, Strictly with the Joel Embiid situation, like how does that make you feel? I and mean, then we could get into other players and all that, but just with this Embiid situation, how does that make you feel? Uh, unfortunate. Um, and I wish it wasn't that way. Um, however, where everybody's talking about the rule being messed up, um, I'm looking at it like they had they set out with a very clear agenda to stop the gray area load management not your real load management i'm talking about the ones where you're like hey i'm finna call in sick because i'm kind of like on the bubble but um you know we're just gonna grease the wheels for the playoffs type kind of thing and it's been working mm. it's been working they set out what they what they uh they're they're executing what they set out to be but there's they didn't they didn't factor this in for tyrese halliburton mm -hmm. They didn't factor this in for Joel Embiid to to be crushing it in in 65, 70 percent of the games he's playing. Um, I think it's unfortunate, but I, I never look at a rule like that and say there's not like Joe Dumar said, unintended consequences. Look, bro. I'm gonna get off on a little rant. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna go get ahead. off a little rant, Jay. I'm gonna be honest with you. All right. Please go. I think this rule is absolutely stupid, especially for Joel Embiid. Because check this out. Joel Embiid right now is averaging 35 points per game, okay? The last person I remember seeing doing that was Kobe Bryant in, uh, I believe, the 05, 06 season, right? He's averaging 35 points per game right now, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, shooting 53% from the field, okay? He has – if you've been watching the NBA, you've been watching the 76ers, there is – no way you can come to a conclusion that any other player in the NBA has been playing better than him. He has just been playing so dominant, been getting literally whatever he is, whatever he wants. So how can the MVP not go to him? Like, just for real, like, can someone explain to me how it can not go to him? Because if it goes to anybody else, if it goes to any other player in this league, in my opinion, there will forever be an asterisk next to it. It's like you only got it because Joel didn't play enough, because Joel didn't play enough games, and that's the little CBA yeah. rule. But that is it is just the absolute most stupid rule. And let me get into a little bit more, especially for Joel Embiid. Because right now, brother, this is a lose-lose situation for Joel Embiid. Okay. If he doesn't play, he and because he wants to rest and get ready for what actually matters, which is winning Larry O'Brien, then he can't, he's not eligible to win an MVP, which Years down the line, when people who did not watch this uh this season didn't know how dominant he was, they'll just look at the numbers. Oh, he didn't he didn't get that MVP. Oh, he didn't get that MVP, right? But if he does play, then he's risking is even more injury, further injury, and he's risking maybe being able to compete for the Larry O'Brien down the road. And if he does play through injury, he just won't be able to, to perform at the same level. We we're athletes, we know once you have that injury, you just cannot play at that same level. But with that being said, I do understand the reasoning behind the rule because, like, you know, if we look back and, like, back in the day when Jordan and all these players played back in the day, like, you could go on Basketball Reference and find that Jordan played a couple of 82-game seasons. Like, there was a couple of players who just played all 82 games um, mm -hmm. back then. Nowadays, not very, not, um, not very common that you see players do that. But like I said, I just think it forces players in a very weird predicament because, like, I just gave you the example for Joel Embiid. Either he – plays um and risks the Larry O'Brien by not being able to play at, at his best, right? Because he's playing through injury, or he doesn't mm -hmm. play and risk his and risk his MVP. Now let's look at the Tyrese Halliburton situation because I, I love how you brought up the Halliburton situation. Because look, in his contract, he can make an extra 41 million if dog makes an if bro makes an all NBA team. But if he doesn't play, then if he doesn't play at least 65 games, then he can't make an all NBA team. So now you're indirectly saying, Tyrese Halliburton, I'm going to force you to make a decision of are you going to be selfish and mm -hmm. play through these games and play injured and not play as well? And, I mean, I don't know if you've been watching Pacers, but TJ McConnell has been starting and Tyrese Halliburton has been coming off the bench. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You just, you just made I don't even really want to interrupt you like that. But when you say not play well, that is not the only penalty 
when you, that is not the only consequence, potential consequence, when you play through an injury like that. See Kevin Durant in the playoffs towards the end of the year when he tore that Achilles mm-hmm. because he went out too early. I apologize for interrupting. No, but no, that's no. not the only, when you, when you come out there early, that's what you're risking. That's the real opportunity cost of it going all bad. Go ahead, please. Absolutely. So exactly, right? Even that. Th- thank you for even adding that to my point. And then on top of that, so if Tyrese Halliburton doesn't play those 65 games, then he's basically just saying, yep, I'm going to leave $41 million on the table. Mm-hmm. But if he does play, like how you said, he's risk- risking injury and he's just not playing at, at at the same level and i just think that like you're just you're you're literally forcing him to make a selfish decision because i'm gonna tell you straight up me i'm playing coach put me out there for 20 minutes a game i'm getting my 41 million i don't care i you, yeah. you some 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 players are more uh like how um you know lebron james and Dwayne wade were when they went to the heat where they're like oh you know we're, we're more worried about winning but remember when carmelo anthony he could have gone to the heat but he'd rather stay on the knicks so he could sign a super max so he's like i'm trying to get all my money yeah so, dog yeah. all i'm saying is the rule's stupid because you're forcing players in a in no. a tough predicament no but no so let me put you on the spot because like i said i i agree and i understand the thing here is is that Teams, let me ask you. Let me let me set this the tempo for the 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 response I'm looking for. The tough question I want to ask you: Do you believe prior to this year that teams were abusing the load management on the other end of the spectrum? Yes. Like star players playing one away game in any given city and choosing to sit because not just playoff whatever but just started abusing it. Yes. And do you believe that that happened? I, I do. Be, I believe it's, it's not a good idea when you go like, when you're like, Oh, I'm not going to play tonight because I want to prevent injury. Like if you're like, I'm not going to yeah. play tonight because I'm injured, totally different story. But if you're saying like, Oh, I'm not going to play tonight because I want to prevent injury. Then that's, then that's not cool. But dog, yeah. or, but, or, but Jay, or do you think it was, or do you think that that happened because of non-basketball stuff? We're talking about human beings here, dude. We're talking about like, Oh, I'm just going to low yeah. vanish tonight. But the real issue is, you know, I'm just, I'm just not, I, Hey, I'm Harden and I was at the club last night. I'm just going to post up here real quick where, whatever, like you can't tell me that did not happen. No, it did. Until this past it, year. it did. But pa- pa- okay. But th- then, then that's, then that falls on the players dog, because real quick, pardon yeah. my language, but F that dog, like, bro, you can't, you you think I could just call into my boss and be like, "Yo, I'm so sorry. I was out way too late last night, and I, I'm just I'm just I'm just gonna not work today. I'm just uh, I'll be but there, but I'm just not gonna day. work." You don't do that. You just call in. I, hey, I'm gonna use a sick day right now. That's I'm I'm all I'm saying is that the league was put in a funky spot because load management was going too far, and I believe that putting players like Tyrese. And Joel Embiid in a position to have to play, that's not the answer. Like, like the 65 game rule is pretty clearly not the answer right now. But they still have to figure out the solution to that piece of it, which is people just goosing this whole this whole load management thing. Cause it was going it was getting out of pocket. Can but can we meet in the middle maybe and say like there's there's a minimum of games you have to play, but let's not just rip MVPs and rip $41 million <laughs> from, from financial from ramifications. You're yeah, right. like that's the crazy, Financial ramifications bro. is crazy. It bro, is. $41 million is crazy, Jay. Come on, dog. Even it if is. you even if you got money, bro, like, come on, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. And to be clear, what it is, it's over the span of like five years. So he'll, his max is determined by making the All-NBA. And so that's five and then Seven, and then you get your your raises. So over the course of a five years, forty one million. But it's to be determined at the beginning of that contract and not get it. Yeah, that's that. You can't have somebody risking long term serious ramification injury uh, because they're chasing money because of this new rule. 